as they finish 12 or make it 13 for 21 from the foul line. And they will go down to defeat by one. Colgate will leave here with their fourth Patriot League win. A heartbreaking loss for Lafayette. And I'll tell you, if you're Matt Bentley, I mean, uh, your heart goes out to the kid. He's done so much for this program, Gary, over the years. And for him to be in that situation, there's nobody else you'd want on the line. You want Matt Bentley there. Dropped the first two, and the third one, John, was halfway down and came out. So it's time for the postgame show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. Dan Mowdy is with our Pepsi player of the game. 12 points and 9 rebounds tonight for Everest Schmidt. Here's Dan. Pretty good shooting percentage, too. 60% from the field tonight for Everest Schmidt, our Pepsi player of the game. Everest, you were Lafayette's hope to try to box out some of those tall trees that Colgate brings to the game every time they play basketball. It was truly a battle underneath tonight. Yeah, we knew they were physical. Uh, coaches knew that. We've seen it from previous times. I played them for four years, and we knew it was going to be a battle out there. Let's talk a little bit about Lafayette's energy coming out of the gate and then coming out of the locker room at halftime. You guys had some tremendous runs. Yeah, well, we know we uh, have to get off to an early, a good early start. And, I mean, I thought we did that in both uh, the first and second halves, but, I mean, we just didn't get it done, I guess. Everest, you're one of the leaders on this team in block shots with 17 coming into this ball game. Great performance both on offense and defense individually. And this game comes so close down to the wire. you got to be proud of the effort tonight. Yeah, I mean, I thought, yeah, all the guys played hard. I thought, uh, you know, um, our defense was there for the most part, but, I mean. All right, well, nice effort nonetheless. Congratulations on a good personal effort and a nice effort, and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks. All Thanks. right, Everett Schmidt, our Pepsi player of the game, and we'll wait to see if Fran O'Hanley can shake himself free and talk to the head coach here in just a few minutes. Now back to Gary and John. Well, Dan, Fran is going to work his way over to chat with you as a heartbreaking loss for Lafayette. They had lost three of their last four trying to get back on the right track tonight, and it just did not happen. Now they'll have to await uh, the Naval Academy uh, on Saturday at 2 o'clock, but here's Fran to talk about tonight's game. All right, Gary, let's go over that, uh, that great start from both uh, the beginning, the opening tip, and then out of the gate at halftime, Coach Fran O'Hanlon. Lafayette really coming out strong here against Colgate in the initial part of each period. We did, and, um, you know, Colgate's a good basketball team. Uh, they, we knew that coming into the – they have good uh, point guard play, they have good shooters, and they have good inside players. So we had to get off to a good start. We did that, uh, and then we're down at halftime. We came back and got back in the game and, and took a lead. It's just, uh, you know, it's a game of runs, and uh, they happen to have uh, – although we came back at the end, we just came up a little bit short. Um, but it was a good basketball game when you have a one-point loss. You're going to look at all the things that you could have done better. And, um, and we have to just go back, get our heads up, and, and try to recover from this. Speaking of runs and running, this had to be one of the faster games that we've seen this season. Uh, Colgate has a, a unique way of trying to take a team out of its offense. I know that was a challenge all night long. Yes, uh, I mean, they're, they're a very good defensive team. They really get up and pressure you. They don't give you any open – and they're, lo they're, they're long and athletic, so they make things hard for us. And uh, – they have a lot of depth. It's a good basketball team. Um, they, uh, they've had a little bit of bad luck. They've lost the last two games in overtime. We're hoping we can get them in overtime today. You know, that would have been nice. Uh, we're pretty good in overtime. No doubt about but, um, it. But unfortunately, we didn't, it didn't work out for us. Second looks at these teams here in the second half of the Patriot League season. Navy is on the uh, radar. What do you expect against the midshipmen on, on the weekend? Well, they have three very good perimeter players, uh, guys that can score 30 on any given night. Um, and they really push the ball in transition. They play very loose, and it's a team that's uh, given us a lot of trouble up here in, uh, in Kirby. So we have to be ready for them. All right, well, good luck the rest of the way. Fran O'Hanlon, the head coach of the Lafayette Leopards. Let's bring it back to Gary and John. All right, Dan, thank you very much. Thanks to Fran. This is the, the uh, halftime or the postgame show presented by the Maroon Club. We will be back. Take a look at some of the highlights and the final numbers right after this timeout. So, Mr. Chan, you want to make a sequel with my client, Diet Pepsi? Lots of action, lots of stunt. As always, we're going to need a stunt double. No problem. We've got company. Stunt 
double. Action. See ya. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Kirby Sports Center is the place to be this winter. Grab yourself a family four-pack for any remaining Lafayette men's or women's home basketball game. Four seats, four hot dogs, and four sodas for just 20 bucks. There's no place like home with the family four-pack and Lafayette Leopards basketball. The excitement is back at Kirby. Welcome back to the Post Game Show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. We're going to take a look at the highlights, or in this case, maybe some of the lowlights as uh, Lafayette wins a heart or loses a heartbreaker. Gary, time. some of the highlights in the second half. The beginning of the second half, Lafayette came out and the defense really triggered an 11 0 run that looked like, had us thinking that maybe Lafayette was going to run away and hide. Here's another steal by Michael Gruner. And Lafayette did a nice job of disrupting uh, that uh, Colgate offense that shot 52% uh, in the first half. And that was Ever Schmidt doing a, a big part of the work. The freshman, Michael Venezia, what a second half he had, Gary. 10 points and all of his shots, all of his loose balls. Just a great shooter, a very soft touch. 10 second half points. This was a huge three. And, you know, Gary, Lafayette wouldn't go away. They wanted to protect their home court. There's a turnover. Ever Schmidt knocking it away. Now keep an eye on Schmidt. Blal Abdullah takes it strong, can't get it to go, but Everest Schmidt uh, follows in. But here's the last play of the game. Watch Cal Romer. And when your reputation precedes you, Lafayette, a great three-point shooting team, Gary. Cal Romer overreacts, arguably. Fouls Matt Batley, puts him on line for three. He drills the first two, but the third one, Gary, with .7 seconds left, doesn't go. And Matt Batley's body language tells you all there is to know. Yeah, he had made the first two without touching rim. This time he touched the little rim, and it kept the ball from staying inside the cylinder. And Lafayette goes down to a one-point loss. For Colgate, there's 76 points, and I came on 28 field goals. They were 28 for 54 as they shot 52%. Six for 14 from three-point land and 14 for 19 from the foul line. They had five players in double figures tonight, led by Tim Pounds with 18, Dan Waddy with a dozen, a dozen for Kyle Romer, 17 by Kendall Jones, and Mike Venezia had 10. Colgate goes to 12 and 12, and now they are four and six in the Patriot League. The Lafayette Leopards, 75 points tonight on 28 field goals. They were 28 for 65. They shot 43%. Six for 21 from three-point land. Part of the problem, 13 for 21 from the foul line. They missed a lot of foul shots early in this ball game. Started hitting them towards the end. Couldn't quite get that last one. They were led tonight by Mike Gruner with 13. Everest Schmidt with a dozen. Schmidt also had nine rebounds in the game. And Matt Bentley with 15. For the first time in 13 games, Bilal Abdullah did not hit double figures. He had eight points. And Andrew Brown tonight with nine points. So the two leading Lafayette scorers do not get double figures this evening. Lafayette falls to 14 and 10, and now they find themselves at five and four. We do uh, have a final as Navy beat Lehigh tonight, 80 to 75. So Lehigh uh, now finds themselves at four and five, and Navy now is also at five and four. Bucknell came in. Uh, with a 5-4 and four record, but they were losing tonight to American. So they may very well drop to a 5-5 five and five record. And if American goes on to win that game, they'll be 7-3 and three and all by themselves in first place. The Lafayette Leopards will play again on the Lafayette Sports Network on Saturday as they will take on the Naval Academy. Greg Sprink, the leading scorer in the Patriot League, averaging 25 points a game in the league, will be here. You might want to watch that one. That is a 2 o'clock start. There you have it. Final score. Lafayette loses by one, 76 to 75. My thanks to John Leone, Dan Mowdy, the RCN television team, and to all of you for spending time with all of us. I am Gary Laubach, and we will see you on Saturday at 2 on the Lafayette Sports Network. Good night, everybody.